As we mentioned, next week is the Iowa caucuses, and a Catholic group is doing its best to make sure the faithful are there and have their voices heard. According to numbers from Catholic Vote, 50 percent of the faithful in Iowa do not vote in elections in midterm years. This is a presidential election year, and the group says that it is embarking on the largest Catholic voter mobilization program ever. And for more, let's turn to Brian Birch, president of Catholic Vote. Brian, great to have you back on the show. So tell us more about your efforts to get Catholic voters to the polls this year and why it is important for the faithful to cast their ballots. Well, you're absolutely right. The numbers show that uh, large numbers of mass attending Catholics, not just Catholics who claim to be Catholic, but mass attending Catholics, do not regularly vote in elections. And I think it's incumbent upon us and those of us who care about what's happening in our country, not just to sit back and watch the news and complain and get frustrated, but to actually get out there and vote. And because of the size of the Catholic Church in this country, even a small increase in the percentage of mass attending Catholics voting could have dramatic impact on the outcome of these elections. Brian, what role do you think abortion is going to play in this election for the White House? And which GOP candidate do you think seems to be the strongest on the issue? Well, our bishops tell us the abortion issue is the preeminent issue. It has to be because it involves such a substantial uh, threat uh, to innocent lives uh, at such a scale that it's it's uh, be, uh, doesn't compare to anything else. Um, I think all of the candidates at some level on the Republican side um, are certainly pro-life um, by uh, certainly compared to President Biden and his extreme abortion advocacy. Um, I think each of them are taking a, a, a different tack and some of them for political reasons and some of them because uh, they want uh, uh, to win over uh, obviously uh, different segments of the vote. Um, Frankly, at this point, I think um, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis are probably the two strong, and, and, and Vivek Ramaswamy are the three strongest candidates, I think, on the pro-life issue. What about at the state level? Um, you know, abortion-related initiatives there, what are you following? Well, there's going to be eight or nine ballot initiatives, depending on how many of them make it to the ballot. And the left is going to use this issue as the wedge to try, try to drive their voters to the polls. And that's going to have to be countered by groups like ours and pro-life groups on the ground in these states to make sure that this doesn't overwhelm, um, not just on the abortion issue, but all of these electoral races. And I think a number of these places, like Florida, which is going to be an important swing state, and Arizona are two places that we're going to be watching very closely. Well, another story uh, that we have been following very closely, uh, this recent study uh, from Pew, 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 that is research, that said 46 percent of Catholics say that abortion pills should be legal as opposed to 26 percent who say they should be illegal. Brian, I want to get your reaction to this study. I mean, does this surprise you at all? It doesn't surprise us. As you know, the Catholic Church in this country is very divided on this issue. Obviously, for us, we pay a lot more closer attention to Catholics that are still engaged in their faith, that are still going to church, that are still uh, working to live out as best they can uh, their faith and fidelity to church teaching. The church is very clear. Abortion pills or abortion surgeries or abortions in general are never justified. Um, and so this is a really tragic stat. And it, I think all of us have a role to play here. Our bishops have a role. Our priests have a role. And we as lay people have to help uh, people understand that this involves uh, the taking of an innocent human life. And it destroys marriages and it perverts the entire church teaching on sexuality. And before I let you go, I'm almost out of time here, but what are some of the other projects that you're working on? Well, you know, people have to pay close attention to what's happening in Washington, D.C. Uh, typically, in election year, the politicians kind of take it off and hit the campaign trail. But, you know, the Republican majority is is only uh, a slight a couple vote margin. And there is a path here where Democrats could take back control of the House. And if they were to do that, there was a lot of bills that they would likely try to ram through. And so we're going to have to pay attention to what's going on in Washington. Of course, on the campaign trail, lots of states, the Senate, the House, all up for grabs. It's going to be a very, very uh, important election year, and Catholics have to be right there at the front, on the front lines. All right, Brian Birch, president of Catholic Vote. Always great to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank you.